What is good, YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. This is Not Your Average Sneakerhead, Tony Ramsey. And today, we're gonna be talking about how you can get hyper leases like this one using the Foot Locker Flex app. Now, before we get into the video, if this is your first time here, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. We do tons of content, mainly around sneaker reviews. But starting in 2021, I will bring you guys some more videos just on normal information about how to land hype sneakers, maybe some bot, some hold in sales, or maybe even some tactics for how you can get hype sneakers for retail even after they release. So to get more content like that, all you have to do is three things. One, hit that subscribe button. Two, leave this video a like. And three, drop a comment down below as any kind of engagement does help YouTube channels grow. And you guys give me feedback on the content that you're seeing and let me know what you guys wanna see going forward. Also, please stay tuned. Revealing the winner of the giveaway very, very soon. So I do apologize for the delay. It's been a little bit busy, but the winner will be revealed very, very soon. So stay tuned. Now let's go ahead and talk about how you can get hype sneakers like this using the Foot Locker Flex app. Let's go ahead and start off with this sneaker right here. This is probably one of the most hyped sneakers so far in 2021. And Foot Locker and the Flex app did something a little bit different than they typically do. They actually released these on, on the Flex app twice for reservations. So if you missed your chance on the first time, you actually had a chance to get them again on the second time. But there's a caveat there which we'll talk more about that in a little bit later on in the video. And if you're not familiar with the Foot Locker Flex app, that is the app that is used by Foot Locker, Champs, and Foot Action. Those three brands, I believe also uh, Kids Foot Locker as well, those four different stores each have an app where you can put in to reserve sneakers so when they release in store on release date, you just go ahead and pick up your pair, show them your a confirmation code, they give you your pair, you pay retail, you run out the door. So really dope way to release sneakers in my opinion. I know the Flex app isn't the most popular thing right now because people are taking a lot of L's on the Flex app, but for me, I've actually had a lot more success on using the Flex app than the last check-in system they had for in the past. So with the University Blue release that just happened, I actually got lucky on that Flex app release both times. So the first time I had a personal pair for me. This is my personal pair in an eight and a half, which I've actually already worn. These are no longer dead stock. I actually wear my sneakers. But the second time around, I actually was able to hit a couple more pairs. So I had a size five, which is my daughter's size. So you guys know that I'm not capping. We'll go ahead and pull that open. And you got a size five. Also have my receipt here for this one and this sneaker smells amazing but wait we also hit a size six which is my wife size same thing we're going to open this up you guys can see it this is the size six so we got a two-piece but wait that's not it I also hit on one more pair in my size another eight and a half in my size and same thing, we'll go ahead and pop this one open. So you guys know that this actual is a pair from the store. And there you go. So I ended up hitting four pair of these, all for retail, all using the Flex app, all picked up on release day without any hassle. Now, some of you guys probably watch this video. Some of you guys probably hate me. Why does he need that many pairs of sneakers? As I said, these are all in my family size. The eight and a half is my personal size. So now I have one that I can rock. I have one that I can stock for long term. And the other two pairs that I hit are in my wife and my daughter's size. So all that can be worn by my family. So how did I get this many pairs? You're probably wondering. The best way to do that is by building up your Flex account. So the Flex account essentially is just a rewards program. The more points that you have, the better chances are hitting these releases. A lot of people say that that benefits more for resellers, but I'm not a reseller. I'm a sneaker collector. You guys can see the sneakers behind me. I rock all my sneakers. And ever since they switched to the Flex account, I've had nothing but good luck picking up almost every release in store. I had a pair of the Mochas. Honestly, anything they've had in store, I've been able to get at least one, if not two to three pairs. The way you do that is by making purchases at Foot Locker. It doesn't matter what you purchase, who you purchase it for, what size. You go into the Flex app, create your account. Whenever you buy anything from Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action, East Bay, Kids Foot Locker, any of those stores, always sign into your Flex account. Any dollar that you spend, gets added to your Flex account. Now I believe you get 100 points for every dollar that you spend. So if you spend $100, that's 10,000 points. You spend $500, that's 50,000 points. They add up very, very quickly. So right now I wanna say my account has close to 1.5 million points since they started. And that's why I'm picking up almost every single release that comes out, whether or not I like it or not. I go, I try to reserve it. If I hit a pair, I go pick it up. If I don't want it, I'll sell it to somebody else that wears my size for retail. Or if I don't want it, I'll try on someone else's size and sell it to them for retail because all I need is the points. I don't care about the actual sneaker. If I don't want it, I just want the points. So that way you're still getting your money back and you're building up your flex account in the process. Also, even if the sneaker doesn't really have a ton of resale value, 
you take a small loss when you sell it, that's not a big deal because what you really wanna do is still build up those flex points so that when something hype comes out, you have a chance to get that release for retail. Like these University Blues that everybody's going after, reselling these is going like 400 bucks plus. So you basically wanna go ahead and just buy the less popular stuff and let it go for a small loss so you can get the hype stuff that you really want and not have to pay that stupid high resale price down the line. So for me, in 2020, I picked up almost every in-store release that I could so I could build up my iFlex account. Another benefit is, you can try to reserve pairs at not just one Foot Locker, you can do that for up to three different Foot Lockers, three different Champs, and three different Foot Actions, and also three different Kids Foot Lockers. So having 12 shots to get one sneaker, your odds are really good at, at that time. And that's pretty much how I did it. And even then, if you hit, let's say, one pair at each store, that's four different stores, you hit four pairs at, let's say they're about 200 bucks each, that's 80,000 points you just got off of one weekend. And if you don't want any of them, you can still sell them, and you still get to keep your points. Another point is to never return things back to the store. So if you hit a, a pair on Foot Locker that you don't want, just go ahead and sell them on eBay, sell them on StockX, sell them on GOAT, sell them somebody locally. Either way, do not return them because if you return the, the sneaker, they will go ahead and take those points back off of your account. So now you just lost the sneaker and the points. So even if it's something you don't want, sell it. Keep it, sell it to somebody else, keep the points. It's the best way to keep your, your account and always keep growing. Now my next point is, you have to be aware of which stores in your area are going to have stock of these releases. So go to your local Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action, and you can just ask them, hey, are you guys getting University Blues that release uh, on Saturday? They'll tell you yes or no. You, you can even ask them, like, do you have pretty good stock? They may not tell you. They say, yeah, you should be fine. They say, no, we didn't get that many pairs. So then you know on the Flex app, maybe not to try to enter on that store or maybe enter into three other stores that you know have a really good stock. In my area out here in Cincinnati, Ohio, there, I'm lucky to have a lot of different stores within an hour and a half of me each direction. So I can go to a store here in Cincinnati, I can go to a store in Louisville, I can go to a store in Indianapolis, or I can go to a store in Columbus. Those are all within driving distance from my location. So whenever I put in for a sneaker, I always put in one in Columbus, maybe a couple in Cincinnati if they have them, or I'll go, to, I'll go Columbus, I'll go Cincinnati, then I'll go Indianapolis. My chances there are pretty good of hitting a pair at one of those bigger cities, because that's usually where a lot of the higher stock is, and the amount of points I have in my account almost guarantees me a pair no matter where. And my last point is, make sure that you're on the app when it's time to confirm your reservation. Because with these hype releases, they've always been delaying your how to get into the app. The app crashes because everyone's trying to go in and check their uh, reservations. But always go in right at the time that it says, for me, it's five o'clock Eastern time. I'm in there right at five o'clock on the dot, trying to refresh my app, open and closing the app until I can get in, confirm a reservation. And once you confirm your reservation, take a screenshot of the, the QR code. That way, when you go to the store the next day, if the sneaker still releases online, you don't have any issues accessing your QR code. You already have a snapshot of it saved because all they need is a picture of the QR code and your ID and you're good to go. And that's pretty much it. So there really is no secret magic sauce to how you hit on these releases at using the Flex app. It really comes down to how many points you have in your account, stock in your area, and confirming the reservation in time. So as I mentioned, anything that they have on the reservation app for you to pick up, go for it. So if you get something that people consider to be a brick, then you should have no problem being able to uh, reserve those in the store. You go buy them, sell them for somebody else for like 10 bucks under retail, but you still have the flex points, which is all that really matters at the end of the day. Hope this information is helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions, please be sure to leave me a comment down in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you guys were able to hit an extra pair of these on the restock. And I hope that Foot Locker does this for the releases going forward. If they ever have delayed shipments, hopefully they put those pairs on the on the app so people can go ahead and still try to reserve them and get them for a retail because there were a lot of people that didn't grab these. So I hope this information helps you guys out because I definitely want to see everybody be able to hit a pair of these for uh, for retail using the Flex app. Because in my opinion, that's probably like one of the easiest way to get hype sneakers nowadays is by finding a place to get them locally in your area. Because online right now, it's pretty much a crapshoot and your odds are going to be not in your favor. Well, that's going to do it. Thank you guys again for watching. This has been Not Your Average Sneaker Head, Tony Ramsey. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.